Now the United States is exploring action against entities connected to the Chinese balloon operation. According to a senior state department official, Washington is confident that the manufacturer of the Chinese balloon that was shot down by the US military last weekend has a direct relationship with China's People's Liberation Army. Take a look at our next report for more details. The PRC is the only competitor with the intent and means to reshape the international order. A top U.S. diplomat on Thursday told Congress that a Chinese spy balloon that floated across the United States last week was part of an effort by the People's Republic of China, or PRC, to alter the global status quo. Last week, the American people saw the latest example of that reality after the U.S. government detected, closely tracked, and shot down the PRC's high-altitude surveillance balloon that had entered our territorial airspace in clear violation of our sovereignty and international law. Deputy Secretary of State Wendy Sherman told the Senate Foreign Relations Committee that President Joe Biden's decision to shoot down the balloon demonstrated American resolve. We will always act decisively to protect the American people. We will never hesitate to defend U.S. interests and the rules-based international order. We will confront the dangers posed by the PRC with resolve and keep demonstrating that violations of any country's sovereignty are unacceptable. The public spectacle of the Chinese balloon drifting over the United States last week sparked outrage in Washington and brought into sharp focus the challenge posed by China to the United States and its allies. The high-altitude device entered U.S. airspace first over Alaska, crossed over Canada, and re-entered the United States above Montana. A U.S. fighter jet shot down the balloon over open water off the coast of South Carolina. Lawmakers from both parties have demanded answers as to why Biden didn't bring down the balloon earlier. This administration owes Americans answers not only on what happened this past week, but on what steps they're going to take to ensure that this never happens again. Democratic Senator John Tester chairs a Senate subcommittee that heard testimony from military and Defense Department staff on efforts to track and bring down the balloon. Pentagon officials said they were able to monitor the balloon's path and protect and conceal areas sensitive to U.S. national security. So again, a key part of the calculus for this operation was the ability to salvage, understand, and exploit the, the capabilities of the high-altitude balloon, and we look forward to sharing that with you in a classified session and also openly as we learn more. On Thursday, Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Mao Ning dismissed U.S. charges that the balloon was part of a worldwide spying fleet saying that allegation could be part of a, quote, U.S. information war against China. Beijing has said the balloon was designed for civilian, meteorological, and scientific purposes and had strayed into U.S. airspace. At a briefing for reporters on Thursday, senior FBI officials said they'd so far recovered very limited physical evidence from the balloon and did not yet have enough information to assess its capabilities. The State Department said the United States is exploring taking action against entities that may have provided components to China's People's Liberation Army, supporting the incursion by the balloon into U.S. airspace.